All right, it's about 8.45 in the morning. Got a little bit of a later start than I wanted to. Been on a roll of waking up at 6 a.m. every single morning while I've been here in Vietnam, jet lag. Uh, but now it's looking more towards 7 a.m. Either way, gonna head to the coffee shop with Brittany. We're gonna do a bunch of work. It's not all play here in Vietnam across the world. I still gotta get stuff done, like make this video for you. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. The sad thing is, is wherever you go, you just can't get away from America. All right, let's ride. I'm on a scooter right now back to my Airbnb. I gotta go record a podcast for you. But before I do that, I wanna talk about what makes a woman addicted to you. And I know that sounds kinda hypey, sounds kinda fake, like, okay, trip, like, sounds like some clickbait BS. But really, there is a way to make a girl that interested in you and that addicted to you, even from the moment you meet her all the way to being in a relationship with you. And I'm gonna tell you what that is, and it's all described in one word, which I'll tell you right now. Stop, stop. Yeah, stop, stop. I always mess up my hair. The word that I'm talking about is unpredictable. That's right. An unpredictable guy is a guy who will be able to get a woman to stay with him forever and even get a girl initially attracted. See, there's something about being unpredictable, about the fact that you don't know what someone is gonna do next that keeps you wanting more. I mean, this is the same idea behind reading any sort of story or going on some sort of journey in terms of watching like a, a hero or someone on TV or any TV episodes. Why does it keep you hooked? Well, because you wanna learn more and you're not sure what's gonna happen next. I remember that there was this, uh, this one line in the movie called Private Parts. It was the movie all about how Howard Stern, famous radio DJ, became famous. And I remember they were doing the ratings when he first started and people were saying that a lot of people that listened to the show either didn't like him or they loved him. And they both had the same reason. They wanted to see what he was going to say next. The average Howard Stern fan listens for, are you ready for this? Okay. An hour and 20 minutes. How can that be? Answer most commonly given, I want to see what he'll say next. And that is a big key here, right? He was polarizing, and people wanted to see what was gonna happen next because he was unpredictable. They were addicted to listening to him, whether you liked him or whether you didn't. Unpredictable sounds like some of that vague terminology that really just does nothing, right? I can say that to you and then you're gonna stop watching this video and you're gonna be able to do absolutely nothing with that word. So we're talking about theory in general, but that's okay because I'm gonna give you some practical steps that you can take and things that you can do to become more unpredictable. One thing you can do almost automatically is you can change around and shift the way that you talk to girls. So let's talk about the initial interaction for a second. I'm guessing you do a lot of, where are you from? What do you do? What do you like to do around here? What are your hobbies? What are your passions? That's very boring conversation. She's expecting that. So we wanna be unpredictable. So maybe we can think of some questions or some topics to talk about that aren't the usual thing that you talk about. Well, I'm gonna help you out with that right now. You can go down to the description below and get something called Chick Crack, and that is conversation topics that women love. And these are conversation topics that most guys are not talking about with girls. I'll give you one example. This is what I talk about all the time. It's your sign, okay? So like Zodiac. So whether you believe in that stuff or not, that's actually a really great conversation topic and something totally random that most 
most guys and girls are not talking about and it makes conversation much easier because it can spawn off into a whole array of different conversations. So maybe don't do the very obvious dinner date for the first date. Maybe take her somewhere that's interesting in your town or that's weird. I mean, I don't know, anything that's going on in your city that's not the same drinks or the same idea of going out to dinner. Maybe there's an activity you guys can do together. Maybe there's a fun event you can go to. I know it sounds like, really, is that unpredictable and is that spontaneous? Yes, it is because most guys in your city are not doing those things. They're doing the more average things and we want to get you away from that. So I had to um, finish this video here in uh, the next morning because right after this last piece, what ended up happening was I left my phone in an Uber. And let me tell you something, uh, trying to get your phone back in a foreign country where you don't have a SIM card and you're only using Wi-Fi and you're trying to get your phone back from uh, someone who doesn't speak your language is a very difficult process, but luckily I did get it back. Anyways, back to what I'm talking about here with being unpredictable and spontaneous in order to get her more attracted to you. I believe it's more of a mindset more than anything. So that means that what you're doing is you're thinking a little bit differently. You're thinking, what can I do that's unique, that's different, from what I've been doing in the past, okay? So you don't need to compare yourself to other people, what other guys are doing, which I know I just did before, just to give you an idea of what other people are doing. But really, it's about being different from the, the normal way about going about things in terms of the whole approach in talking to a girl, asking her on a date, picking the date, the things that you do once you're in a relationship, and just being in that mindset and being aware and conscious of something that you can do that's just a little bit different. So, in the comment below, maybe you can write something, and I'll be in there as well. Write something down below in the comments that you are going to do differently, that's going to be different than something you've done in the past in terms of the whole courtship process in order to be just a little bit more unpredictable. Write that down below. I'll see you in the comments. Peace.